Hi, it's Lisa. Today's video is going to be about Botox, Humana, a three ring binder in my cervical dystonia. I have cervical dystonia. It is a rare disease. It makes your neck twist and my face can twist back and forth sometimes. And it causes a lot of spasms in my back. Um, the best way to relieve cervical dystonia is for me, tried massages, I've tried a lot of other things, is Botox injections into the trigger points that are causing the spasms. I have been doing Botox injections for several years now. I see a pain management specialist, Dr. Fadabi. He's awesome. I call him Magic Fingers. Um, he has been able to help my face from like twitching a lot and relieve a lot of pain in my shoulders and in my back. He's awesome. But along with his awesomeness comes his bill. I am billed, I understand everyone has to make money, but I am billed for the trigger injections, the office visit, um, the injection guide, along with the Botox. Sorry, again, trying to work this camera. Um, the Botox I thought should be covered by my prescription insurance plan. It is a prescription for me. It's Botox. I have other injectables that are covered. So when I received several letters from Humana stating they weren't going to cover the Botox for my cervical dystonia because they considered it a medical procedure, I disagree. Um, I'm using a prescription jug during a medical procedure, but they still need, should pay for the prescription jug. So we've gone rounds and rounds. It's been a while. Lots of letters, lots of phone calls, and it looks like we've finally come to a resolution. I am going to submit a prior authorization, and I'm going to um, reply. Oh, apply, thank you. Apply for reimbursement for all of the fees that I've, all the money I've paid out, so hopefully be some. One treatment alone could be um, $2,800 um, just for the Botox. Fortunately, I don't have to pay that full amount, but I do pay a portion of it. It, it hits our family hard. It's a lot of money. So, um, like I said, it took a lot of phone calls, a lot of aggravation, but most of all, a lot of persistence. And I suggest, I just opened up another binder. I have dozens of binders. I suggest you're going through like a medical thing or you have lots of medical bills. Make a separate binder, just label it medical. And then when you talk to somebody, I am such a messy writer. I just get the plain, the plain one, because I'm always like outside the lines, my hands shake and my writing is big and small. So I kind of go with the sketchbook. I like this so I can kind of create my own note style. And you just date it. And every time you speak to somebody or have a concern, you open up your notebook and you jot down. If you call the company, you know what time you phone them, and you know who you spoke to, and you note the result. Um, some people might want to do this on the computer. I personally, I'm old school. I like to do it on the notebook. If I have an issue or I need to write something up, I will transfer it from the notebook onto like an Excel sheet or something else. Um, so that's it for today. If you have medical bills, you need to be persistent. It takes, well, I'm not saying it's going to wipe the medical bills away, but if you have like, a reason why you feel like they should be covered. Like my, I feel like my Botox prescription should be covered. Um, it does take time, it takes energy, it's a lot. Um, but I suggest you try to move forward and keep great documentation and hopefully you'll have a favorable outcome. So that's it for today. Oh, one more thing, my cervical dystonia. The cause of cervical dystonia is unknown, go figure and it is classified in the autoimmune family. So that's it. Thanks for listening. Talk soon. Bye.